Let's talk about family first. <laughs> Even though it hurts me to share my story over and over again, I want everyone to know what community I came from. There is a history about what you should be or a preconceived notion about what being Latino is when you move to the States. No one talks about the history of people that are not black or white. We have to be mindful as Latinos about everything we put out there. You have a voice that the world needs to hear. I always say I'm a high-class Ibarra. And <laughs> When's the last time you heard of a superhero eating sancocho? Not all Latinos speak Spanish. A growing share of Hispanics today speak only English. But that doesn't take away who you are. I think LGBT people are here to unite the masses and to really unite the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Me standing here alone and talking to you is making a difference. We have to learn who we are before we know where we're going. You have to say something, whether they're gonna change or not, you have to say something, because otherwise you're complicit in the situation. Regardless of how it is you interact with the world and with your community, your voice is no less important than mine. The audience really has the power right now in the world that we live in. Nothing about us should be without us. I think we're in a moment in history that we need to weaponize empathy. If we're not involved, if we say, oh, well, no one cares about us anyway, then we're never going to get anywhere. Habla. 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 Habla now.